Hey up. Okay, so this one can be uh, quite a useful one to uh, do. I find first thing in the morning, or well, at some particular point when you're wanting to wake up a little bit more. So this is the um, bridge pose, and it's the breakdown for the bridge pose. One that really vitalizes up the body. Uh, any extension pose that is held uh, for some period of time, and it's uh, quite a, uh, a nicely testing uh, extension pose for the back, extension for the back. Uh, can be very uh, um, enhancing for your uh, levels of um, vibrancy and uh, it's better than a cup of coffee really it's better than 10 cups of coffee really well it's better than any cup of coffee <laughs> um so anyway i'll go through it and um yeah m maybe sort of just uh, we will go through it with a breakdown first of all so the the um uh, initial sort of aspects of the pose uh there to just sort of uh, gear you into um being more prepared uh, for the more advanced versions of the post. Okay, let's uh, go through it now. So first of all, obviously lying down on the back. In a comfortable position. Taking the hood out of the way, if you've got a hood in the way. Make yourself comfortable. The first thing to do is just to prepare your arms so here we're just going to put one arm and the other arm into position and get used to this position. So the wrist needs to be nice and extensible. So you can just rock the knees from side to side. Getting more and more used to the position of our wrists being the extended position and our shoulders being slightly abducted and flexed. And then once you've got used to that a little bit, then we can start to work on one side and then the other side whilst we're extending the hips. On both sides. So just getting used to movement with the extended wrists in position. And once you've done that for a little bit of time, roll up another yoga mat. If you've got another yoga mat or use a rolled up towel or um, maybe a blanket or something like that. And pop that underneath your shoulders, like so. And then go back into the same position you just got prepared for. And then you have already more of a lift at your shoulders. You're already prepared to go up a little bit higher. Make sure your feet are nice and wide, so they're, they're gonna help you balance. And we can do a little bit more of the rocking once you've got really used to that, you can go up a little bit further and so on and start to lift your shoulders off of the floor. Train in the back all the time, all the while. Okay, once you've primed yourself up with that and maybe do that for, I don't know, if you want to, a, a few days before you actually start to attempt to do this all in one go, uh, maybe sort of uh, work on things like the Cobra Pose, um, uh, camel, um, those sort of extension sort of poses and then we can work on to actually getting onto this. It might be a few weeks before you feel ready. Also wrist extension exercises that I'll show you in a separate post. So again like so. And then we can start taking the head off of the floor. Like so. And you haven't got so far to go because of the yoga mat being there. like doing press-ups in the, the bridge sort of uh, position and once you feel really ready and uh, able to hold that position you can go up all the way okay. you start to take your feet back a little bit further towards the pelvis maybe go up on tiptoes play in the pose always useful to do just so you're not maintaining a rigid position um, with, with perfection that's it, easy in the position. Then when you get really nimble, I'm going to take one leg off. Have a leg off. And so on. Coming out of it nice and gently. You can rest the head on the floor first. And then also going back onto the, the yoga mat. And then one step at a time. 